You have made my life complete and I love you so. Love me tender, love me true. Oh, oh hi, welcome. Welcome to Karaoke with Carl. That's how we're gonna start every episode right now. From now on, Karaoke with Carl. We're glad you're... Hello and welcome. We're gonna start this segment with a little something I call Iced Tea with Carl and Donna. Sounds good. Welcome to Rambling on RV. We'll be back in just a moment. You could be larger than life, bigger than the world, living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. We wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit today about what we do to keep warm around the campsite. So we're going to be demoing a, a Flame Genie, which, it, which we recently purchased. And we're also going to demonstrate a little bit about these double burner propane toppers. Um, both of these are, are good solutions to provide a little bit of heat. Um, if it's extremely cold or extremely windy, they're not the best solution, clearly, for sitting around outside of your RV when it is uh, very cold. But they're a good uh, way to knock, the, to knock the cold off. The Velocowina wasn't the only dinosaur that escaped its enclosure. The Tywinosaurus Rex had also escaped. We were looking for an alternative to the fire pits because they're so messy and they take up a lot of space and we didn't know where we could store one or we have to put it in the back of the truck. And so we came across a video describing this particular one in, in this corner here. Uh, but it was stainless steel and it was very expensive. It was over $200. And while we were researching that, we discovered this one. And the cost on this one is much less. We'll try to put it the link to it on the bottom here. But um, it also was compact and less messy and the big selling feature to this one is it's basically smokeless like it it really prevents a lot of the normal smoke you would get from a campfire uh, where it gets on your clothes or you constantly have to move your chair around so you don't get in front of the smoke um, but yeah it's a really cool cool idea yeah because what we have experienced and I'm sure you can understand is smoke follows beauty <laughs> This uses wood pellets, and the reason we opted for that was not necessarily because of the of the lower expense, but because of ease of use. And you're going to see that in a minute as we begin to demo this a little bit. Um, this was about in, in the ballpark of ninety dollars, and uh, we just really like it. It adds ambiance, it adds some light, and uh, um, and it's a, a really good solution. I will pull it out in just a second, oh. except I wanted to show that. We carry it in a milk crate, and it's also going to sit on top of that milk crate when we get it set up. So give us just a moment, we'll get it set up, and we'll, we'll tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, so this is our Flame Genie. This is the way we carry it. This uh, blue bucket over here is what we carry our pellets in, and I'll just show you that real quick. You can see it's, it's full of these hardwood pellets, and uh, they are compressed and they, they burn, uh, they're hard wood. They burn for quite some time in the first batch and then you can, you can continue to replenish the batch as you go. So these are the pellets over here is the Flame Genie. I carry it in this crate. I'm, I put the lid on, on my bucket, carry it all in the bed of my truck when I'm going down the road. Um, and they ride really well that way and it's, they're a little bit dirty, they're not horrible. The good news about the Flame Genie is that it burns very, very clean. You have very little ash residue after the pellets burn. So, you know, let me get this set up here. What we have is 
This is the heat resistant pad that we use. And this pad um, sits on top of the milk crate. We actually use the milk crate just to get a little bit of height to our flame genie. This is the kind of pad that you put underneath a charcoal grill uh, when you're grilling. So that hot coals drop on your deck or your patio, they won't uh, mark it or damage it. So this is a heat resistant padding and it's, it's here to protect the milk, the plastic milk crate. And then the flame genie, you'll see here, the pedestal nests inside of the unit. So the pedestal comes out of the nest and it sits right here uh, securely on top of the on top of the milk crate. And then the, the unit, the flame genie unit, sits right down over that and it's very secure um, and, it's, and it's set up quite nicely. Um, it gives you a little bit of height so that when you're sitting near it, the heat is coming kind of towards your mid body area and uh, it's just a good way to do it. You have to be a little bit careful. Clearly, if you knock it over, it's a little bit dangerous. You'll have hot pellets all over the ground, but uh, it's, a, it's a good way to uh, set it up. So when you're putting your pellets in, you only fill to this line right here. I'm sorry, this line right here of these, there's several marker holes. And basically you fill about midway up with your pellets. I use an ice scoop um, with my, with my pellets and that way I can kind of measure them as I go. Now, you don't have to be exact at all. You just have to go up to those holes that I showed you. Spread them out a little bit. The reason you do this uh, to those holes is the heat as it, as it works its way through, because it rises, it causes a whirlwind effect inside of here and it causes the heat to uh, to come off of this thing and it makes sure that the pellets burn thoroughly and and completely and you want that to happen because uh, that's what gives you the, the low amount of ash residue so if we were out camping i would fill this to those holes as i described it doesn't have to be exact it doesn't have to be perfect just don't go over them. And if you do go over them, try not to go over them by much. And so you, you do that right there. Okay, so uh, to get this fire going, I use this Rutland fire starter gel, which you can pick up pretty much anywhere. I think we got ours at Lowe's or maybe Walmart, I don't remember. And the nice part about this is it's a, it's a very thick gel. Open hole. Dippity do. You. For you and it, you just kind of swirl it around over the top of this. You don't have to use a bunch of it, but you have to use a little, you know, get it, to get it started. The gel lights quite nicely. It doesn't flame up or flare up like a charcoal starter and it burns extremely hot. And that's what you need to get these pellets going. Between the, the buckets with the pellets um, and, and, and being able to nest it together and put it into the crate, it's a really good setup. It's real clean, as I said. And by the way, you can get these pellets just about anywhere. We ordered ours on Amazon just to make it easy. They come in 25 pound bags. Uh, you can get them in larger bags if you want. Um, we plan to use this even in the summer just for the ambiance, just, just to have a campfire at night without really having a campfire. So the other solution that we have to provide heat, which actually does as good, maybe even better than the Flame Genie, is this double burner propane unit that I'm sure you've seen around. These are very inexpensive. The most expensive will be the tank if you don't already have one. And what I like about these is that they, is that they mount on top of the tank and then the propane hose just goes right into, into the unit from the tank. And there's two valves here that you have to concern yourself with. One is the main valve of the tank itself. So I always keep it closed when not in use, just, just from a safety standpoint. So I'm, I'm opening it up right now. And then the two burner unit has a valve on the back here that you use when you, when you light it and clearly to, to keep it running. So what I typically do when I shut it down is I'll shut down the black valve first and then I'll shut off my tank valve. Um, and, and I just leave it kind of set up at home. We've been using it on our patio 
um, it really takes the edge off. Clearly, if it was windy or very, very cold, it might not have that big of an impact. And you never want to use this inside your rig. You never want to use this indoors at all. But it's good for sitting in a chair, talking, uh, drinking a glass of, you know, iced tea. To ignite it, it comes with a with an electric igniter. One button does both burners. So that's that's over here with the with the red button. It's conveniently mounted on top where you can get to it, and you just do that just like you're probably familiar with with your barbecue grill. So I turn the gas on, and then uh, to get it going here for this side, this burner, I'll press this starter button down here, which lets the gas in and my igniter at the same time. Once it lights, I'm going to hold this button in this this gas release button i'm going to hold that in until it gets up and going really good okay so if you if you watch this it's already lit you may not be able to see it's lit but i'm still holding in on my gas release valve no problem with that so it's up and going right now and it's putting out plenty of heat and then what i would typically do is go to the other side there's a gas valve here that that an ignite what i call an igniter valve I know you can probably hear the sirens in the background. I have not caused anything to catch on fire. Now I'm gonna light the other side. Again, I'm gonna follow the same basic procedure. I'm gonna hold in on the igniter valve over here. And I'm gonna... Oh, that's lit. So I'm still holding in on the gas. And you can see this one here is glowing red. And now I've released off that other one and it's glowing red and that's it. You're up and running. It's a, it's a really convenient way to get some, some added heat and it's, it's not that expensive. Just again, don't use it indoors. Don't ever use it indoors. Um, so to shut down, as I said, I would come over here. I'll turn off my black valve, black valves off, both units shut down. I'll shut off the main valve on my tank and like that this by the way the, the the unit itself clamps right on top of two on top of your propane tank and then if i was gonna pack it up i put that over and i put that in my crate also for transportation keeps it from tipping over it's a good way to store it and um, and we're good to go very very pleased with both items the flame genie the double the double propane tank burner as well. We hope you've enjoyed this uh, segment. We hope that you, if, with the exception of the karaoke, I get it. We hope that you uh, have fun when you're out there, you stay warm when, when you're out there. We want you to give us a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Please hit that subscribe button as well. And leave us a comment or two. Tell us what you think of these, if you've had any personal experience with either of these devices. We'd love to hear from you and have a great day and just get out there.